Welcome to another video and uh, it's Olga, romantic cooking with Olga. <laughs> we are making, um, I am making filled uh, bell peppers. It's with ground meat and rice. We have um, chopped up uh, onions from my mom's garden. We have garlic from my mom's garden. We have carrots from Laura and Pete's garden. We have fresh tomatoes from Superstore garden. <laughs> so these are what we need. Um, I have to sa saute the onions. I will. You can use oil. I have bacon fat, which I always keep. Um, and then we will saute the onions, add the garlic, and then we will add um, carrots, and then we will add some tomato sauce. Um, oh, and we also have to add the ground. I have ground beef, but you can use whatever ground meat you want. And then we will add the tomato sauce, use some seasoning. And um, yeah, I don't know if I will use the whole can of tomato sauce but I have to eyeball it um, and then we have to add the rice and water but I will show you I try so um, we have the onions I used a tablespoon of the bacon fat and two heaped tablespoons of um, the chopped onions two of the garlics and now I will add the julienne cut um, carrots and then I will saute it and I will uh, put some seasoning on top so uh, the carrots are done as well I will just take it all out put it um, in a plate on a plate and then we will just use the same frying pan and um, pan fry some ground beef so we have here I used about 1 kg of ground beef as you can see on the bottom um, it's it's uh, how do you say that in, in English in German it's called a rust arom <laughs> so um, yeah once we add the tomato and the water uh, it will come off so it will come off the pan which is good because then it's back in our um, sauce um, I will go ahead and add now the carrots again I will add probably a half of the tomato paste and then I will use a half cup half a half of a cup of rice I have to wash it first and then I will add this in here so I put everything back in the pan I yeah it's not really half 680 milliliters so it's yeah that much and I will also add half a cup of water and then we will just bring it to a boil simmer for like 10 minutes and then put aside so I just stirred it as you can see it's not enough liquid so I will just add more of the tomato paste until until it, it looks good to me so we'll see if that's gonna be enough and this is how it works. I actually used up all the tomato paste. I added a little bit of water just to wash out the can. And then we will go from here. So before I said the sauce, it's not the sauce, it's the filling. So now this goes back on the stove. Um, it has to simmer for like 10 minutes so the rice is cooked. And then we will fill some bell peppers with this. So I cooked it for 10 minutes, put it aside, let it sit for five minutes. I just tasted it. Um, the rice is not fully cooked. It is parboiled, which is completely what we want um, because now we have our peppers. I like green peppers. I really, really like green peppers, but my husband doesn't like green peppers. So that's why we have the colorful ones. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So we will wash it, we will cut it open, take out the inside and then fill them. And then um, I do not wash this pan because it will go straight back into the pan. And um, yeah, but now I have to see, I don't know how much peppers I will fill with it. So 
we will see. You can also just cut them um, in half, fill them and bake it and put some cheese on top, which I have done before, but I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to do it a different way. So I filled the pan, filled the bell peppers. A little bit of filling was left over, which is totally fine. I just uh, fill a zucchini with that and bake it tomorrow. So nothing goes to waste. It's fine. The pan is completely full. I think I might uh, remove the stem because I won't be able to close it with close the lid. Uh, so now what we need is water, sour cream, um, we have the tomato paste, salt and pepper, and then we will just put it in our pan. So I put everything in here. We will bring it to a boil and then simmer for like 20 minutes until everything is done. And yeah, it looks so colorful. My kids are playing in the background. So this is the end result. I will actually add a little bit more of the sauce. We have baked potato on the side, sour cream, and that's how it looks like. I hope uh, you liked my romantic cooking. <laughs> so this is just um, lunch right now. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching.